name is Sammy Jo and I play touch for the Queensland Titans and I'm going to be showing you how I've been staying fit during isolation. So what we're doing today is we have four different strength and power movements paired with four different movements on the agility ladder. We're going to complete 45 seconds of each exercise with 15 seconds rest and we're going to complete three rounds. So doing this workout for time means that no matter your fitness level or training experience, you should be fine to complete the workout as you just complete as many reps as you can in the 45 seconds. to practice during isolation is your ball skills. So what I have here is a bucket and this is filled with sand. Um, this is actually a trick that my coach Renee Murphy showed me about eight years ago. Um, so you can take a Milo tin or a baby powder tin or like me a bucket just filled with something that's going to be nice and heavy. Um, strap the tin down and put some strapping tape around the outside and then you're just going to grip onto the bucket nice and strongly using your fingertips and then you're just going to practice alternating lowering the bucket down. This is going to work on your roll ball technique so you don't drop the ball on the rock and you can play the ball with both hands. Um, this is really good to add to your warm-ups. I like to do it before most of my workouts just so I can keep refining that skill um, and then you can move on and use a touch ball as well. Whatever you have around the house it's round and it's going to be nice and challenging for you. It's also really important to make sure that you're recovering properly after your workout. So what I've been doing is lots of foam rolling as well as using the Physio Creme Massage Gel to get into any niggles or aches and pains I have so I can get back to working out as quickly as possible. <laughs> 